I am generally super curious about how the world around us works. I think that's kind of the promise of artificial intelligence or what I find super exciting about it. Be able to design better solutions to real problems as well as just have a very fundamental understanding of how these things work. My name is Jakub Smekal and I'm a 2024 Moonshot Young Leader. I'm doing my PhD at Stanford in artificial intelligence and computational neuroscience. I love this connection between AI and neuroscience. What I am really passionate about and what I think is going to hopefully be a force of good is using AI for neuroscience, particularly for the treatment of, say, neurological disorders or different psychological disorders. I'm developing a theory to understand the limitations of these models and how we should reason about how they learn and how we might be able to apply them to neuroscience data to get hopefully not even treatment but actually the eradication of different types of diseases and impairments. Good morning Mr. President, good evening. I am uh, a citizen of the Czech Republic, born and raised in Prague, I'm doing research in the United States. I grew up in Prague, uh, Czech Republic. I think Prague is great for developing an interest in science. From a very early age, I was interested in these topics, just couldn't necessarily express, express the right question. The questions have been refining over, over the years. There is this notion or maybe a vision that there is something fundamental that should at least partly explain what is going on. And one way to put it is we, we want a theory of everything to actually encompass everything. It's kind of started from interest in how the universe works and that's how I got interested in physics and physics led me to start thinking about biology and intelligence which eventually got me to AI and now I'm kind of trying to put all these things together and I'm still trying to figure out what the best way to do that is. How should we reason about the complexity of the world at many different scales and how can we find commonalities between them? The laws that govern uh, an uh, apple falling from, the, from a tree are the same laws that govern the movements of planets and galaxies. Things aren't completely disconnected. And th the same, I think, is very evident in biology. And I think that's kind of the promise of artificial intelligence or what I find super exciting about it. Exploring things that seemingly don't relate to one another, but then turn out to be very related once you uh, go below the surface. I am a student. I am a researcher in training. I love music. I play the guitar and the violin. Love running, love hiking. I think there probably needs to be some commonality. That common denominator is kind of what, what makes us who we are, perhaps. I, I love that. I think I have way more questions than I had at the start. And it's the fact that there's always more questions is kind of exciting because that kind of means we never run out of things to be excited about. I don't think it's necessarily about setting one particular goal that you're striving towards, but it's more about developing the art of doing science. And that, that is, I think, a common misconception at the start, that science is a very formal process, but it requires a lot of creativity. Ultimately, it's about the process of trying to discover new knowledge, and I'm at the very beginning of my journey, so I, I have no, <laughs> no idea how that, how that is actually done. So. <laughs> My goal would be to just figure out what, what, that, what that style or art should be.